The audience complying with the government direction on issuing foreign channel identification calls for means of transporting agricultural products, reducing quarantine procedure at checkpoint, supporting farmers to consume agricultural products, then various from but still answer the 5K principle. The Department of Agricultural and Rural Development has supported the local farmers to consume agricultural products and coordinated with the department and branches to create long-term consumption connection for them. The COVID-19 pandemic became complicated right in the harvest season of many traditional agricultural products in the Ninh province. As of early August 2021, many agricultural products that have been harvested in the province are backlogged due to congestion at the consumption step. Specifically, more than 800 tons of cursed apple, over 100 tons of squeak orange, king orange and tangerines, and up to 360 tons of Dimocatus longan haven't been consumed yet. There's also a huge backlog of vegetables of all kinds, such as nearly 300 tons of taro, more than 80 tons of commercial maize, 15 tons of cowpea, butterguard, squash, more than 12 tons of mustard greens, over 670 tons of water cabbage, and about 2 tons of buffalo meat and beef per day still have no place of consumption. Previously, these items were mainly shown through middlemen and wholesale markets in Ho Chi Minh City. Mr. Nguyen Dinh Xuân, Director of the Ninh Department of Agriculture and Rural Development said that at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, consumers hoarded food, leading to a shortage of agricultural products and high price of agricultural products. Then the goods were backlogged because the wholesale markets were closed Traders couldn't sell their goods, so they didn't buy agricultural products anymore. Transportation faced difficulties. Consumer demand decreased. Many factories and enterprises have stopped operating. After many times of supporting farmers in the province to consume agricultural products, in the morning of August 2, 2021, the Ninh Department of Agriculture and Rural Development continue to receive many agricultural products from farmers in many localities at its headquarters to distribute directly to consumers, helping producers to consume more agricultural products that have just been harvested but face difficulties in consumption. Only in the morning, the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development received nearly two tons of vegetables of all kinds such as corn, longan, orange, lemon, bamboo shoots, vitamin, watergard, squash, etc. from the production areas in the districts and city. Here, the department's youth union classified and weighed according to the orders of consumers. Then, the unit would deliver the goods to the consumer's home with the price previously agreed by the two parties. All proceeds will be given to the farmers. This is the third time the department has organized the receipt and delivery of agricultural products. The activity will continue in the coming days. We are members of the Youth Union of the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development. We assist the local farmers in consuming their agricultural products. Until now, nearly four tons of agricultural products have been collected and every control product will be delivered to customers outside the province this afternoon or at least tomorrow morning. As for consumers in the province, we will try to deliver today. In addition to ensuring professional work, many young people and members of the youth branch of the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development enthusiastically and voluntarily participating in separating and classifying many agricultural products being transported to the unit. They assign themselves in choosing weighing each time of vegetable according to the orders of consumers, regularly took advantage of the lunch break, stay at the office to focus on shipments to ensure the brightness of vegetables and timely delivery to consumers within the day. Lunch is always late, in a hurry to finish the meal in sweaty clothes. 
but the spirit of youth is always enthusiastic, with the simple thought that in the anti-epidemic period, everyone shares some difficulties with farmers. After the Department Youth Union launched the program, we have received many orders from people in and outside the province. We have mobilized the youth union members to jointly divide orders and deliver these agricultural products to customers. During the increasingly complicated development of COVID-19 pandemic, our youth cooperated with the youth union to launch a movement to support the consumption of agricultural products for farmers and provide agricultural products to people who are in need. During the implementation process, we got orders and received agricultural products from farmers. Then we would distribute the goods to each customer. We act as a bridge between farmers who can sell their products and those who can't afford to buy food. Not so long ago, Sitting Group Production and Protection Division and Goyo District Group Production and Protection Station, in collaboration with Goyo District Youth Union, organized the harvesting in cornfields in Bodong Kamun. On harvested corn have been supported and donated to COVID-19 prevention and control checkpoints in the province. One hectare of coordinate cornfield out by Mr. Phan Phan Nu, living in Hamlet 5, Bodong Kamun, has entered the harvest season, estimated that more than 6 tons. Rather than sell his products to middlemen, Mr. Nu asked the crop production and protection station to coordinate with the youth union members of Puyo district to jointly pick up corns, then pack them into shots to donate to the epidemic prevention and control forces in hotspots. This is also a practical gesture that farmers have done to join hands with functional sectors to fight against the infectious disease. Currently, Goyao District has about 280 hectares of corn, upward 100 hectares are harvested, 12 hectares of glutinous corn. The youth union members and the people harvesting corn today are very excited to contribute to the quarantine points. On behalf of the district group production and protection station, I sincerely thank Mr. Nose's family for donating one hectare of corn being harvested today. According to the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, as of August 2, 2021, more than 410 tons of vegetables of all kinds have been supported for consumption by the provincial agricultural sector, not to mention the number of vegetables supported for consumption by other organizations and individuals, including more than 8 tons of agricultural products such as leafy and protein vegetables like portugal, squash, cucumber, bitter melon, okra, basil on bar, mustard greens, corn, etc. There were also a number of fruits in the province that haven't yet been consumed, mainly custard apple and diamond capers longan. The Department of Agriculture and Trudeau Development has coordinated with the provincial post office to request the Vietnam Post to support the consumption of D2 times of fruits in 63 provinces and cities. The department has sent documents to the Economic Joint Management Board, the Provincial Industrial Park Management Board, companies, businesses, supermarkets, distribution system of agricultural products in the province, etc., to continue to coordinate and support the consumption of agricultural products for farmers. Dear audience, the time is up for today's program. Thanks for being with us. See you in the next program. Bye-bye.